Hello and welcome back to my webcast on linear regression. Um, before I go on to talk about how you fit uh, lines, linear functions to your raw data, um, I just want to quickly recap um, where, where we talked about how you calculate the slopes of functions. Um, when, I, when I worked through the example of how to calculate the slope of a function, um, we were just looking at positive um, linear slopes. Okay, so lines that went from, 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 the, from here upwards. Um, but there's a couple of other situations which you might find yourself in where the functions look different to a, a positive one. Um, you may have a situation where your function or your line descends, so as x increases, y decreases. Or you might find a situation in which the function is completely flat. Okay? Um, but it doesn't matter um, where, you know, in which direction or how, this, how these lines lie um, on your graph, you, can, you still use exactly the same um, equation to work out what the slope is. Okay? So if we just take this function here, I'll just find a pen that works. If we take this function here, okay, this function here, you can see that as x increases, y decreases. Okay? But this, this gradient, this line, this function, is still going to have some kind of slope value. Okay? So as x increases, y decreases. Now, obviously, in our example here, with sec our second year marks versus third year marks, then it's very unlikely that we're going to find a situation. It's very unlikely that the higher the mark you get in your second year, um, the lower the mark you end up with in your third year. Okay? So this example doesn't really work for this, um, for this function. Okay? We could, you could, if you like, you could replace second year mark with um, time spent on Facebook. Okay? And then maybe this function would work out. Okay, so we want to work out the slope of this function. So we're going to use exactly the same um, equations we used before. We're all, all we're going to do is take the change in y, so how, how much we go up or we go down, and divide it by the change in x, how much we increase um, our x variable, how much we increase along this variable. Okay? And remember, all we need to do is take two points, um, two points on this function, any two points will do. Um, and we take away the y of the second point, uh, so the y of the first point away from the, from the y of the second point, and the x of the second point away from the x of the first point. Okay? So let's just draw some, uh, let's just put some numbers in here so we can see how this works. So remember, whenever we plot a point on a, on a function, on a line, then we give its coordinates in terms of x, comma, y. Okay? So it's always x comma y. Okay? So this point here, well the x coordinate is around about around about 40. Okay? And the y coordinate is around about 60. Okay? Obviously I can't draw it very accurately on here, but you get the idea. Okay? So that's that's our x1 and y1. Okay, at this point here, well x is roughly equal to around I don't know, 60, let's call it, for the sake of argument, let's call it 60, and our uh, y is equal to 40. Okay, so this is x2 and y2. Okay, so we've got our numbers, all we need to do now is to plug them into the equation. Okay, so y2, y2 is equal to 40, y1, y1 is equal to 60. So that's, if we subtract one from the other, that's telling us how much y is changing from this point to this point, the change in y, so 40 minus 60. And then for underneath the line, x, uh, x2 is going to be 60, so let's plug that in. And x1 is going to be 40. Okay, and if we work this out, um, 40 minus 60 is minus 20. And 60 minus 40 is 20. Okay, and we can just cancel this down. And this is going to be um, 2 divided by 2, the minus sign. So it's going to be equal to minus 1. Okay, so we've now got a slope here which is equal to a slope of 1, but it's a minus. We've got a minus figure here now which is telling us that this line slopes downwards. It's telling us that as I increase x, I decrease y. 
and I decrease it by a factor of one. Okay, so you can use exactly the same equation, and when you, when you derive the slope value, whether this is positive or negative will tell you which way this thing is sloping. Okay, so if it's sloping downwards, it's a minus figure, if it's going upwards, then it's going to be a positive slope value. Okay, so let's have a look at now the situation that's plotted by the red line here. So here we have a completely flat um, function. Okay, so this is basically saying that at all these values of x, y is exactly the same value. Okay, so there's actually no change in y. Okay, so it doesn't. If this was true, it wouldn't matter what mark you got in your second year. It has no influence whatsoever on the mark you get in your third year. Okay. In this example, everybody gets 50. Everyone gets 50% in their third year, regardless of what they got in their second year. Um, but again, you know, what is the slope of this um, function? It's still a function, it's still, it's, still a, it's still a linear function, it's still a line describing our data. So what is the slope of this function? Well, again, we can just take two points. So let's just get rid of this and this, make things a bit clearer. Okay, so let's just Rewind back upwards again. So the slope of our function is going to be y2 minus y1 and x2 minus x1. Okay. So let's take two points again on our line. Again, it doesn't matter where we take these points because it's a flat line. It make, because it's a straight line, it doesn't make any difference. So let's have our first point here. So x is equal to 40, y is equal to 50, and let's go along here. Say 80. So x point here, so I draw these points in. Now at this point here it's going to be x is 80 and again y is going to be 50. Okay? Now if we plug these numbers in here, okay, so this is y2, this is x2, this is x1, this is y1. So y2 is going to be equal to 50. Excuse me. Uh, y1 is going to be equal to 50 as well. Okay, x2 is equal to 80, and x1 is equal to 40. Okay, 50 minus 50 is 0, divided by um, 40. Whenever you have a 0 divided by any number, then the answer is always 0. Okay, so for a flat line, the slope is always 0, because there's, there's no change in y. y isn't changing, there's no change in y as x increases. Okay? So if you get a slope value of zero, that's telling you that you've got a flat function. There's basically no relationship between this variable and this variable. Okay, I hope that makes it uh, clear. So using this slope uh, function, this, this equation, changing y, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, you can, you can derive the slope value for any linear function. Okay? Even if it's going down or it's flat or it's going up. Okay, so I'm going to stop tape again here um, and draw um, uh, another diagram that we'll need to discuss how we can actually fit lines, fit these lines to our raw data, our raw scatter plots. Okay, thank you.